Welcome back to Sea of Thieves Season 6 Update. Uh, we're going to be checking it out today. Brand new. They added a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get right into it. Um, we'll go check out uh, the Pirate Emporium. There's a bunch of goodies here. Um, as you can see, the Blunder Pass is up. There's a new Isle Hopper uh, Outlaw costume. Remember, all this costs some money. They have a new Isle Hopper ship. A lot of purple stuff going on with this. Some skellies. Um, glows in the dark. Some weapons that glow in the dark purple. Some new emotes. Bring it on. Big flex. Finger guns. I don't even want it's a crouch <laughs> um, anyways if you head over to the pirate section you get the jolly jingle jiggle for free so definitely check that one out guys freebie on the house there's a glow-in-the-dark banjo as well I was looking at maybe buying something with some of the the tokens but nothing's really jumping out at me but anyways let's start oh yeah arena is gone no more arena. Maiden's Voyage is the new arena. I'm just no, I'm just joking. Um, but Pirate's Life's still here. Maiden Voyage tutorial and adventure. Uh, rest in peace, arena. No one will miss you. And now that arena's gone, that freed up some memory and stuff. So Rare has updated. Uh. Updated the game with some new sea forts to check out. We'll check out the 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 new season six pass, and maybe I'll go run on down to Athena's hideout just to see if there's anything down there. So, might not be the the craziest uh, update, um, because like in the the back half, like in about a couple months from now, they're gonna release the Pirate Legend season six update it's not out just yet it's only the sea forts uh for this update okay first thing first we should probably head on down never know could be some goodies Yeah, I haven't haven't been on Sea of Thieves in a long time. Been playing Elden Thieves. It's been taking all my time. Just kidding, it's Elden Ring, not Elden Thieves. Elden Ring. Um, and that's been pretty good too. It's just it's just a very long game. <coughs> Elden Ring's long as Sea of Thieves. Uh, not too much going on down here. Does uh, the pirate lord have anything to say? He's got nothing new. Let's go check out everything, and then we'll we'll get out of here. Let's see if there's any new items. Let's see what we got. Got the stock, that's that stuff I was always been there. It's expensive. Um, so nothing new. We'll go hit the the vendor over here. Let's see what we got. What do you got, Luke? Ah, uh, that's always been there. A lot of yeah, a lot of this has been here for a long time. And yeah, nothing new in Athena Side Out. In season six, nothing new. All right, good to know. We'll head on out. Check out that season pass. See what we got. It's raining out. 
Go on, surprise me. Arena. What is this? Rolling dice. Barrel disguise. What did she bring them back? For everyone to get? Wow. Everyone gets that back on the house, I guess. Back when you're buying the grog. Cause that was stuff you kinda had to grind in the earlier passes, like what, season two, three? Um uh, Okay. Let's see if I can see a sea fort from here before anything. Let me go up top. Gonna take a look, see. If not, we're gonna go to the map. We'll, we'll find these sea forts. We're gonna find one. That looks like a regular fort. <laughs> Seeing too much uh, on this side of the map. Okay, let's uh, let's have a seat and let's uh, take a look at. The season six pass. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we're dealing with. Um, season six. Open this puppy up. If you got the premium, you get some goodies below. Forest blessing costume. Um, so yeah, here it is. So you know, you just play Sea of Thieves. Naturally, get some up level ups happening. And. Uh, Let's just go through. If anything sticks out, I'll take a quick look at it. Nothing so far. <laughs> look at the basket. Bunny, bounty, bass. Bunny's bounty bucket. Looks like a basket. That's uh, pretty cool, actually. <laughs> All right. Um, nothing really. Some tattoo stuff, some ship stuff. New hat. Bell's hat. Okay. Look at those cannons. Warren, Warren. Eh. Looks okay. There's like bunnies on it, bunny rabbits. There's bunnies on my cannons and Sea of Thieves. What has happened? I want to read it back. No, I'm just <laughs> um, Spring Shell Pocket Watch. Were you going to get some turtles and Sea of Thieves or what? Uh, that looks okay. Um, what did they do to my Blundy? There's flowers on the end of my Blundy. Oh, God. Um, nothing good there. What kind of belt is that? Not great. Okay. A lot of loot. There's your costume. You get the, the mask. Forest mask. Um, and then at a hundy. Well, what, what's that? A little flower. Bandana thing. Um, Stranger's Cutlass. Which looks like a goddamn claymore. That actually looks cool. But the only thing is, you gotta get level 100 to get that claymore, baby. That's a pretty cool weapon, though. For the sword, it's huge. Alright. Anyways, that is it. There's some trials, you know. Uh, they do the multi stage trials, there's events. Special in time events, nothing going on at the moment. All right, so that is the first little chunk of uh, season six. Now, um, the next part, which is go find a sea fort. And we'll check the maps. I wonder if they are on the maps or not. Let's just take a look, see. Yes, they are on the map. 
So, Royal Crest Fortress. We might as well mark some of them. And we'll just try to get one done if we can. If we can. Ancient Gold. I think they said there's six of these puppies. Old Brim. These two forts are out, way out here. Down south. Pretty close to each other. Any Devil's Ridge ones? Um, does not look like any Devil's Ridge or Devil Devil's Roar. Sorry. Uh, freaking sea forts out there. It doesn't look like it. Um, so how many do we got? I marked one, two. Four. Five. We're missing, I think, one more. We'll find it. We'll find it. I was gonna say, did they throw one by Reaps? <laughs> Fortress, fortress. Imperial crown. There it is, last one. We found them all. So so let's memorize it on the map. One up here. Royal. And then it goes down here to the west. Down south, there's a few close by. And they kind of throw one out here, uh, Mercy's End. And Traitor's Fate Fortress. So, we, I guess we can head to this Royal Crest one. It's the closest one. We'll take a quick peek. And, uh, yeah, we just go past Lone. Shouldn't be too bad. And, uh, yeah, let's get going. Not gonna waste any time here. But, uh, I'll, you know, from what it sounds like when they throw out that sneak peek, uh, from when Rare put it up on YouTube, they did kind of like a l first look at all the, the, the forts. So, you know, there's gonna be some forts that are broken down. Some might have, like, like the greenery and bushes and overgrown stuff and some might be more puzzly and some, you know. It sounds cool that all of them are a little bit different. And there's six new forts to get going and I got a lot of fireworks, oh my god. Um, yeah, let's get out of here now. I'll quickly throw something together here. It's not going to be, it's not going to be crazy. Let's just throw something up here. Okay, going all blue. Have to. Blue and red. Okay, enough of me wasting time, guys. Let's go. See for it. Let's do it. Go past Lone over here. And see what's going on. I bet probably the best best way to do it is go down south because there was like two of them that were like right next to each other. Those sea forts, you could probably just bounce one to another. Yeah, we got no wind. But yeah, this is exciting that they, you know, arena's gone. I, I, do you keep your arena rank? Let's see. Arena battle record, Sea Dogs. <laughs> All commendations earned. Wow, they just they gave they just gave you everything. 
I think. Unless I've done this before, I might have. But... Wow, they it's just they just said straight up we're retiring. So there there's your arena quick look of what's left. Yeah, as for the achievements, you know some people who knows what's gonna happen, but So apparently these Sea forts are only active when they have like the glowing kind of phantom mist around them. So we gotta keep our eyes up for that or we're gonna end up at one with nothing, nothing there other than we could check it out. So we'll see what happens. I wonder if they leave rowboats at these sea forts. That'd be kind of cool to go there and then find a rowboat every time. That'd be nice. Yeah, we're playing on a Series X. It's running good. Okay, looks like the fort is up and running, and it sound and it sounds like we're gonna have to uh, maybe crash our boat in. supplies do I got? I'm good on food, good on pretty much everything. But for what it sounds like, the loot's gonna be, because it's like a quick thing to do, it sounds like the loot's gonna be okay, but it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be crazy or anything. Haven't seen any boats on. Yeah, I guess you could technically do some rowboat plays into the sea fort as well. Like as long as you stay alive, you could rowboat the, these uh, sea forts. I don't think anything would stop you. But from what they were, Rare was saying, they're meant to be like some quick to do, come online and then pop off. So it's like, are you going to be running into players if you're doing quick pop ons as much? Or is it in the longer sessions that's when they run into people? It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. And here comes the cannon fire, boys. At least they're, maybe we're coming in on a good angle because they haven't, uh, haven't hit a good shot yet. Okay, this one might. Horrible shots. I'm gonna perk it right on in, nice and close. See what's going on over here. Looks like we got the gate, we got some stuff. Yeah, there's some stuff in there. Oh, 
we'll drop an anchor. Why not? Doesn't look like anyone's around. Okay. Our first sea fort, and let me get the name of it. Might as well check the name before we go in here. It's the Royal Crest Sea Fort. Sea Fort visited. Nice. And, oh, I got Fortress Key right off the rip. Where do we... <laughs> Ow. Dude, I got the key right off the rip. Is that supposed to be? I'm not going to fight anyone because I want to see if I can get this key going. If I can. If I can. Is this it? Prison cell key. There's a d different key. Okay, I better heal. Store storage room key. So there's a few keys. So it looks like there's a lot more goodies than we thought. Probably gotta go back up top. That's pretty neat. I like the music. Music's pretty good. Bringing the key back over here. Where are you at? Gotcha. Ah, eat that. Die at the table. A little bell ringing. Yeah, this storage stuff, I don't. really know where this key goes though. Go up top a bit. Yeah, it's like the Spanish naval forts kind of music going on. It's very cool. Very cool. Gold pouches. Yeah, pretty quick waves too. Oh 
on God. Fortress store room key, man. I'm looking. These guys won't let me look. Unlock. Aha. Oh, some goodies. Don't mind me. <laughs> Firework crate. Interesting. Oh, shortcut down. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, I need some healing badly. It's cool, so I guess if you retake this over, you can kind of hold it down as a base. Do what you want. Let's get up top. Let's take a good, good view. There's a kagger up here. Okay. <laughs> you can ring the bell if you want. Can you get up on that? Doesn't look like you can. Okay, sounds like they're in the basement. Show your face, Fanto. Alright. Um... It's not a big C4. I can't find this guy just shooting shots off. Lots of kegs, lots of different ways to get around. Ladders. Where in the heck? They came. Okay, a lot of guys. Fire! Eat fire, Fanto. Did it. C for it complete. Soloed it. 
Treasury key. Okay. Should probably heal up. I'm hurting. I'm hurting real bad, guys. The treasury door. The very bottom. Achievement! It's yours is mine. Looks like we got some goodies. A lot of goodies. A lot of goodies. Whoa, a little lag too on top. Chest of the damn stuff, more gold. A lot more gold. Wow. 157. Huge. <laughs> Huge. Skull of the damned. There's a skull in my crotch. <laughs> That's how it is. There we go. Skull crotch unlocked. Not bad. Not bad. Skull of the damned. So I guess like you can uh, lower this way. And you can kind of... I guess if we did have the rowboat. Could, uh, easily, you know, swim out some stuff, but could bury this or give it to somebody. Yeah, if you had a rowboat, easy easy load up. You could probably rowboat to these things and start doing them. Which wouldn't be too bad. So is the mist gone? No one will see that this fort's active or what? What's going on? I still see some mist. But it doesn't seem too bad to even bring the loot over. It's not bad. You gotta watch out. There's a few caggers. You never know. You never know. And a bunch of like secret compartments you can open up. There's so much extra crap you can get. Then you can cook some food. Coconut, 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 coconut. Faster chef. <laughs> Not master, faster. Okay, interesting. A lot of commendations, you know, for just hanging out here. You can sit at the table, chill out by the fire, set up a base. Like, there's a cool thing over here, like, you can see the map. And you can see uh, who's around. We're right here. Very cool. Got the grogs over here. Some more goodies. A lot of gold pouches in this one. All oh, the Food's looking nice and crispy. Crispy coconut for everybody. Nice crispy coconut. Prison cell needed. We don't have the prison cell key.
Yeah, it's it's not too bad, but you're loading up all the loot might might be a bit like I guess you could lo put everything on that and lower it. It's uh like you go like that, and you can. I guess each C4 will have its own kind of way to deal with stuff, but. Ashes of the Dam. So I guess this is what they want you to do, that you throw this over and that's it. Some spices. Billy's up in here. What else we got? Another Billy. And a couple more chests to go. So you get you get something. It's kinda like doing a kinda like a big uh what would the the ship the ghost ships? But you can do a mission from a uh, Order of Souls, but I remember like you'd have to go fight the ghost ships, and they would drop the like the the, the chests here, which are ghostly, like chests of the damn stuff, and then yeah, it's uh seems like a lot quicker to get some some basic loot, nothing crazy. There's nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary, so if you did lose it, it's not like you, you lost a lot. Definitely, definitely Robo for these ones, so I should have grabbed one. Or you set up the harpoon and you just uh, harpoon it right out the door. Like have your boat right here and just boom, boom, boom. And you can harpoon from the the top too. And then that, there there might be a, a few more items to get, but I think that is gonna wrap up uh, the sea fort stuff. And there there was a prisoner key, but I don't know if that's. Uh, that's here or not. Maybe you find that key like I found that other one. But pretty cool so far though. I like the, the battles and everything. They, they felt pretty good. Not too long. Uh, the main captain guy went down fairly quickly. I guess you could do some different plays too with the fort. You could, uh, if someone was coming in, you could send your boat away, have someone stay here, shoot cannons. You could do a bunch of different crazy stuff. Drop a reaper in here, hide it. I'm sure, people will be going nuts with uh, some sneak plays. Definitely on Twitch watching that, people will be, you're gonna see the top PvPers just dumping on people, coming to these, even though they're, they're alright, you can, you can hold up a base here though, that's cool, you can cook and hold up a base if you wanted, so that's, that's super neat that they added that idea, because I know a lot of people were like, I want my own base, how do I? want to make my own fort or something but this is kind of like their way to do that so it's 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 pretty cool pretty cool that they added that okay we're almost done guys where's my robo 
couple more trips and then we'll go do one last look around. See if we find any goodies. I have a feeling the prison key's around here. Level 3 on uh, the pass already. So do a C for it, probably get like 3 to 5 level ups right there. Alright. Two more items, we'll do a final look. I'm sure there's a few other items that I could probably throw on, but that's, that's quite a few. What are we up to, like 10 items? doing that so far. I was going to say, is there anything hidden? Never know. Secrets down here, you never know. Doesn't look like anything shiny. There was no key in here, was there? Oh, there's another captain's chest. Not look like another key. More goblets and junk like that. My boat is just gl glistering, glowing like a son of a boat. Probably should have went this way and did it with the harpoon. There's nothing else down here. And the coconuts catch everything on fire. That's what we need to know. all that junk right there. Who's ready to bury it? <laughs> Nothing. We can crack some lids. Okay, let's do a quick search around here and see what we got. Aha, uh -huh. secret level. More loot. Nothing. Yeah, a lot of hidden goodies around here. Do, do, do. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A lot of kegs. Got over here. Cold pouch again, copper. Now 
another gold pouch. Fireworks is great there. More gold. More junk up here. Master burglar. Burglies. I've not seen that prison key. Like anyone's around either. Trying to figure out where that prison key would scooch to. see any prison key stuff doesn't look like anything down there few more items. Why not grab it all? But uh, yeah, it's, it seems cool. Seems super, super cool that they added this. I'm excited to see, uh, you know, it's, it's, I think it's just meant for quick sessions, but if you want to do the whole camping and fort stuff, it's it's there. Very cool. I think there's like a coffer left or something that I left, but... Other than that... any prison key maybe it's like maybe the key I found maybe it's like you come back again and maybe you get the other key that's all I can think of maybe that's what keeps you for keeps you coming back maybe because you get a chance to maybe get that other key 
Because I, I fully looked around, guys. I didn't see anything. I can go do one last loop down. But other than that, um, it's pretty much it. Pretty much we got everything. I'll go take one last look, dude. I'll go take one last look. Someone's out there. Someone's a-coming. And I know it's not uh, AI. So I think we're going to get out of here. I did a pretty good look. I'm sure people out there will have the guys. You get the, the bullshit. Let's, let's get a firework in here. Jambalaya. See what he says. <laughs> I gave him the signal. He's pissed. All right. Head on the devils. Or devils or dags? Dags is a turn down here. But that's cool though. C4 it seemed cool. Lots of mysteries for each one that you can solve. Get some pretty good juicy loot. It's not bad. Very cool. I don't even know if I want to take it. I, I might have to go to galleys because dagger that that walk is gonna kill me. Unless I bury stuff. What happened to Sloop Boy? Sloop Boy is gone. Just because I have a lot of uh, chess and run and dagger could take it. Like, I could do it. It's just gonna, it's gonna be a long cash out. It's just gonna be a very long cash out. Yeah, but that's super cool, though. But yeah, that's that's probably going to wrap uh, Season 6 up, though. Um, just because I'm not going to go to each location. Because um, I kind of seen it on the, the YouTube video Rare Pro. They, they kind of showed off every location, so you kind of know you know what what's up with uh, each one. And they're not all that different, I don't think, other than maybe some puzzle-y stuff and commendation stuff. But... Man, what a what a cool update though. It was very cool. I might as well just do it here. We'll go daggers. Or go daggers. The long, beautiful walk of caching this loot in. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome.
But yeah, it's uh, season six. Not the craziest update I've seen though. It's it's okay. The sea fort seemed cool. Will people keep uh, keep doing them? Who knows? We'll see. But but uh, it's cool. Like you could just jump on, do that, and cash out. Someone almost did come at, like, come at us, but we're good. Alright. Look at all this junk. Look at it. Black screened. God, there's actually quite a few items than I than I than I anticipated here. Like there's just uh just a bunch, just a junk. <laughs> just a bunch of junk. done. Almost done. Eight more trips to go. <laughs> Man, how much? Probably leave the fireworks over here too. Do one last blow off on fireworks if I have to. All right, here we go. Let's run in the the loot. What am I at? Uh, just under four milli. So we'll see what one of these sea forts does to the cash. Okay. Guess if you had emissary on, that would help a little bit. If you were doing some emissary, that might boost you up. Do our a reapers. Emissary, do a C4. That could maybe bump you to 3-4. Oh, maybe 3. Maybe 3. What am I doing with this? God. Slipping up already, guys. Going the wrong way. Okay, the, the ashes were okay. The ashes of dam sold pretty good. Okay. We're on the slow journey of cashing this in. I was really tempted to go to galleys. You don't even know. You don't even know. Nice. Level four, battle pass already. Very nice. Like I said, we'd probably get four or five out of that. All 
And you get some pretty good cash. At least a thousand for the chests and the ashes. That's not bad. Not bad, not bad. 5,000, 1,000. Some juicy stuff from that pass, man. Very juicy. We gotta go on the skull, uh, skelly run here. It's gonna be a bit. So over four milli. Not bad, not bad. You get quite a bunch of stuff from that. That's interesting. You can like level up fast. You get a little bit of everything. Skulls, chat. You get the gold orders. Order souls, merchant. other items and then that shall do it. All gore, uh, gold hoarder here. And we're done. I left one of the coffers on the on the forts. I didn't see the coffer. Okay, guys. A few items left here, and that will do a wrap on sea forts. That's not too bad. We'll blow off some fireworks, do a big ending here. Could also go on like those new C forts and just set up all the cannons for fireworks. Have everyone run around, hit it at once. Have like eight fireworks blast off. Just run to the next cannon. Boom, boom, boom. All right, last one, guys, and I'll leave the firework crate for somebody. Someone might want it. There it is. So we ended up with 20, 30,000, 30,000 roughly for a sea fort. But remember some of the battle pass stuff came in there. So let's knock off like another 12K, 15K. So maybe 15, we'll say 15 to 20K. All right, it's time. <laughs> uh, what other goodies do we got here? <laughs> uh, 
And we'll do the dragon's breath for the end, right at the moon. Very nice, very nice. Maybe better do one more. One more big maiden. Let's, let's do it. Maiden's voyage. Beautiful. Well, that is going to do it for Season 6. There's other forts out there. Definitely check them out. Uh, very cool. But, um, uh, thanks for watching. Anything else comes up interesting, I'll come on back and cast. But, uh, seems like, uh, the good stuff won't be till, um, won't be till the later half of season six for the pirate legend missions but other than that looks cool thumbs up uh can't wait to see what people get up to but as for me i'm back to elden thieves it's gonna take me away going back to elden ring it's holding me over but that's cool though i, I enjoy the update and thanks everyone for watching following and this will be up on video on demand and youtube and we will catch you guys later in the Sea of Thieves. Bye for now, guys. Take care. Enjoy the update.